Hey, good morning everyone. Um, so we're going to do a few exercises. I hope you've done one of the warm-ups that you've seen on um, the YouTube channel or from Family Martial Arts. Okay, so it's going to last probably between 20 and 24 minutes. Uh, just a different very of exercise. And we'll just do it like the hip training. 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Okay, just take it as easy or as hard as you want to go. Okay, I'll do um, an in-between. So obviously it's manageable. I'll show you the exercise obviously before we start. So as I say, we're going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. There's 12 exercises and we're just going to repeat twice, okay? So that should take us up to, like I say, 20 to 24 minutes. Um, so as you see, I'm from my living room. Um, I've just moved a few things out of the way so there's lots of space. Um, so you, you're not falling over anything or hitting anything, okay? So we are going to use um, some of the couch and uh, end up against the wall, okay? Just to do some press-ups, because sometimes not everyone can do press-ups properly on the floor. So we're still strengthening our arms, but in a good way, okay? So, uh, like I say, we'll go through everything um, before we actually do the exercise, and we'll do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. All right, so the first thing we want to do is a press-up on the wall, okay? These are what I learned when I, when I hurt my shoulder, okay? So all we're gonna do is press up against the wall, uh, and I'll show you and demonstrate, okay? Just one second. I'll just bring you forward, then you can actually see. Okay? So I'm up against the wall, and all I'm going to do is just feet a little bit further, and all I'm going to do is just press, and again, so press. So as you see, you're not using your body, all you're doing is pressing your arms against the wall, okay? So I'll just move that back a little bit, then you can see. And then we'll make a start on that, okay? Ready? So, 30 seconds, let's go. So, as I say, sometimes the slower, the better, so the resistance is even harder, okay? So, you're just pressing your body, bending your arms, okay? Back and forth. And this is just 30 seconds, there's no rush. Take it at your own time, okay? The fitter you get, maybe the stronger you're going to be, the faster the exercise, the more press-ups against the wall that you're going to do. It's your preference, okay? So just keep pressing, using your arms, pushing your body towards the wall. Just like that. And relax. Okay, so back to normal. So that's our first exercise then, okay? And obviously we're going to repeat that again. So we've got 20 seconds. The next one then is a touch sit up okay so we're going to go on the floor we're going to touch the floor come up touch our toes okay come up touch our toes all right so I'll go from this side we've got five seconds three two one so 30 seconds up and then so touching the floor coming up touching your toes so if you wanted if you had a yoga mat Use your yoga mat on the floor if it's too hard, if you don't have a rug, okay? So just keep going, a nice pace. Don't stop in between, just, just keep moving, okay? It doesn't matter how fast you go or how slow you go, just keep moving, you're still exercising your body, okay? So just keep going, two, one, and relax. Okay, so we're resting now, We've got 28 seconds. The next move, is an air squat, okay, an air squat. So all I'm gonna do is gonna to pretend to sit down on the couch, okay? So you have a couch here. So all I'm gonna do, just bend our legs, pretend to sit down, but don't. Pretend to sit down, but don't, okay? So go in in five seconds. So get ready, air squats, okay? Ready, two, one. So just keep doing that. Pretend you're gonna sit down, and you change your mind, okay? Keep it, your knees over your toes, okay? Back nice and straight, chest up, facing forwards, okay? Have a good posture, all for your legs. So this will help with your kicks, strengthening your legs, help with your stances, strengthening your muscles in your legs, okay? Really good stances. Keep going, five seconds, three, two, and relax. Excellent, well done. So a little bit of rest time. So we've done press-ups. 
heel touches and then air squats. So the next one is tricep dips. So tricep dips, we can use our coach again as well. So what we're going to do, arms, we're just going to press our body up and down. Okay, we're going to do five seconds. So let's go. Two, one. So just pressing your arms, bending your arms. This will help keep your arms nice and strong. Keep your body moving. Keeping your core engaged, okay? Keep going. 20 seconds. This is quite a tough one, okay? Unless you're really strong, which I am not very, very strong, okay? So this, 30 seconds is a long time, okay? So keep going. Nine seconds left. Bending your arms. Gets rid of your bingo wings. <laughs> and relax. Excellent. So we can use all we've got at home to do all these exercises, okay? So you don't have to go outside if we're on lockdown. We can do all this at home. Have the sunshine shining through. All right, the next one, crunches. So just a simple crunch. You cross your legs in the air. Okay. Cross your legs, arms up the side of your head. And all you're gonna do, come up, squeeze, and back down, okay? You can do this fast or slow. Ready, we're gonna go. Let's go. So just crunch in, just squeezing your tummy. All you're moving is your chest up towards. So try not to tense your neck. Okay, just keep squashing your belly, okay? Just keep using your tummy muscles, not your neck, because otherwise your neck will start getting stiff. So just use that core strength, okay? Eight seconds left, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so this is like a exercise for all of your body, we're not just working on one thing, all right? Alternate lunges, okay? So all these are, you're just gonna stand there, all you're gonna do, drop your knee and come back up. Alternate, drop your knee, come back up, okay? Make sure you don't, don't bang your knee on the way down. Take yourself down nice and gently and just keep changing legs. Ready, let's go. One, you can put your hands on your hips. Just don't rush them, okay? Take your time, okay, take your time. Make sure you do them correctly. Make sure you're not hurting yourself, okay, when you're banging on the knees on the floor. Lower, gently. As I say, you don't have to do them as quick. Take them nice and slow. Or just, okay, just slide, okay, if, if it's just struggling with them, if you can, all the way down. And we're done. Okay, that's the next one. Okay, the next one, high knees, and we're going to do a punch as well, okay? So getting it nice and aerobic. So I'm going to start with high knees and then I'm going to punch out, yeah, to the side, punching out to the side. Ready? We're going to go in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. So ready? Get your high knees up, high knees up and start punches, start punches. This is quite hard, so keep going. Nearly there. Keep punching, keep the knees up. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That's hard work. All right, so the next one. We're gonna do a plank. Okay, so everyone knows how to do the plank. So we're just gonna go on our arms, keep our body nice and straight, okay? Just on our toes and our elbows. All right, ready, steady, go. So try and keep your back nice and straight, okay? Nice deep breaths. The hard work, them high punches, aren't they? Keep going. Holding it there. 
Suck in your belly button up to your back. So really breathe it in. Push back on the heels. If it's getting a little bit hard, keep your body nice and still. It shouldn't hurt your back, so just relax into this, okay? And relax. 30 seconds. Oh, I've done everyone. All right. This time we're going to do a squat. But when we go there, we're going to stay down, okay? And all we're going to do is just hold it. Hold that squat, okay? Small, gentle pulses, okay? Really small, gentle pulses. Not big movements, all right? So I'm just going to use a corner of my mat here, just as a guideline. Ready? Let's go. So just stay down. And all we're doing is pulsing. So just work here on getting our legs nice and strong. Okay. It is hard. You might want to give up, but don't. Keep going. Just hold it there. Halfway there, guys. Halfway there. Don't move, don't move up. Stay down. Stay down. Nearly there. Five seconds. Keep going. Three, two, and relax. Oh, wasn't too bad, was it? Right. <clears throat> the next one, we're going to work on our pelvic floor, okay? Get nice and tight in the middle. So all we're going to do, as I should come up, we're just going to raise our bum up, hold it, and back down, okay? So up, and back down. Ready? So we're going to go in five seconds. Two, one. So up, and back. Squeeze in, and back. So squeeze the bum, and go back down. Squeeze, and back down. Squeeze. Just keep doing that, okay? All the way up. Nice and easy. We just squeeze at the top. Squeeze, and back. So this helps your core as well. It helps your back. Help strengthen your lower part of your body. Five seconds. Two. And relax. Okay, so that's sometimes called a bridge, but as some, not a lot of women know, it's pelvic floor. Okay, it helps. All right, so circle of the arms. Nice one. So just all we're going to do, gentle circles of your arm. Just slow movements. Just as big as a tennis ball. Okay, that's all we're going to do. We're going to change halfway through and then we'll go backwards, okay, to wall to wall. Ready? Go. This is nice and easy. Just tell. So just keep circling forwards. Keep going. Just not big movements. The idea is to keep that tension but keep it nice and small, small movements. Okay, let's go backwards. That's it, keep going. Well done, keep going everyone. I know it hurts a little bit. Just try and relax, but keep your arms out nice and wide. Small circles. And done. Right. So these ones now, it's like a curtsy, okay? So all you're going to do is place one foot in front, and all you're going to do is go back. Keep that place in front, and put your knee behind. So cross your leg, cross your leg, okay, just that for 30 seconds, pretend you've seen the queen, mm -hmm. ready, starting in, two seconds, let's go, so one, and change, two, and change, three, you'll find as you do it more, you're going to get lower, so it's like a curtsy, so just take that leg back, cross the leg, Keep going, quite tough, working your thighs, helping with all your kicks, making these legs nice and strong so you're moving different parts of your thigh, okay? And keep going, and relax. All right, so that's our first 12 done. One more set left to go. Are we ready for it? I know it's Sunday morning, but let's go. Yeah, we can keep going, keep going. So ready? So remember, press up on the wall, okay? So remember, press up on the wall. So watching. 
three, two, one. Let's go. So 30 seconds. So just press. Okay, keep your arms bent. Keep the tension on your arms, okay? So it's using your arms. Keep going. Keep your body all nice and tight, okay? Keep it in, tuck in your belly. Well, no matter what you're doing on your exercise, keep that belly tucked in. 10 seconds. Keep going. Don't stop. This will go really quick. Three, two, one. And relax. Well done, everyone. That's number one of our 12. 11 to go. Okay, so the next one, remember, is the touch sit ups, okay? So head to your top, so tip to close back, come up and touch the floor, yeah? Everyone got that? You'll know how to do this by the time we're finished, okay? And if you wanted to do another set, go for it. Ready? Two, one. So touch the floor, come up. And you never know, each time you might get quicker at doing it, okay? Get stronger. So try and use your core as well to bring yourself up, not just your arms or the momentum. Keep going. Everyone can do this. Everyone's got a living room or a kitchen. As I say, if you've got a yoga mat, the ones on the floor, you could use a yoga mat to put down, okay, to help. Three, two, and last. Okay, so there's our sit-ups done. We're on number 10. So this is the earth squats, remember? As if you're going to sit down on the couch and you change your mind. Sit down and change our mind. Okay, teasing ourselves to sit down for a cup of tea on a Sunday morning. So we're going to go on in 10 seconds, all right? 10 seconds left. So as you can see, there's lots of space if you make it. Just move everything out of the way, okay? We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. So just keep going. Just keep moving. The slower actually you do these, the better it is, and more resistance, okay? But well, make sure you control them. Make sure your chest is up and you're going down, okay? Keep going. Wherever you want to put your arms, put them wherever it's comfortable, but keep your chest up right. 10 seconds. Five. Three, and relax, rest time. Okay, so that's our uh, squats. So we've got tricep dips, okay, tricep dips. You can also do these on the floor, okay? You're gonna put your arms back, and all you're gonna do is push your bum, okay? Press your bum, bend your arms, and press. I find them a bit harder on the couch, which is why I do them on the couch. You can put your arms on the couch, and all you're going to do is raise yourself up and down. Ready? Let's go. Then There's more of a distance. And the wider your legs, the harder it is, okay? So if you're starting, just start off with them close. Okay? Start close. So you're bending your arms. It's quite a hard exercise, this. As I say, it's good for the backs of the arms. Helps tone them up. Ten seconds. This is number nine. Nearly there, guys. Come on, keep going. Don't stop, all right? Just keep moving. And relax. So rest time. Crunches next, guys, crunches. As I say, we all know how to do a crunch. We don't know how to eat them, I sure do. Right, so ready? So remember, lying on the floor, keep your back nice and into the floor. Cross your legs, you can cross them up in the air. If you want it a little bit more extreme, that's like obviously fast intermediate, but just keep them here for now. Three, two, one. So squeeze. As I say, you can do them nice and quick if you want to, or you can keep the intensity slow and squeeze. Slow and squeeze. The harder one is a slow and squeeze. Okay? So whichever you want, or an in between pace. It's so a bit of both. You have to go quick as you like, or as slow, okay? Whichever you want to do. Just pace yourself for that amount of time. Three, and relax. 
Okay, crunches. So that's that, uh, crunches, crunches, crunches. So alternate lunges again, okay? Alternate lunges again. So we're gonna step forward, lunge, knee to the floor, knee to the floor. So keep your hips forward, all right? So going in five seconds, five seconds. Oh, nearly there guys, nearly there. And you can have a nice cup of tea. Let's go. One, two, or a nice drink of juice. Three, four, five. So make sure guys, when you're doing these exercises, you're keeping hydrated. Make sure you're taking lots and lots of water. Lots of water, okay? Make sure you're heating nice and healthy as well, okay? Not your chocolate. If your body's hydrated and you're getting the right foods in you, if you do get any kind of illness, it's easy to recover and relax. Right, okay. Also the lunges. So high knees and punches. Woo! So high knees and the punch night. Yeah, high knees and punch night. Might seem daft, but if you get mums and dads up, Everyone can do this, okay? High knees and punches. We're going in five seconds. It's an energetic one, this one. I've got a sweat on, guys, have you? Very warm. Ready? Get your high knees up. Let's go. Punch out. If you're doing it with your family, see as one that can get the highest knees. As well as punching. Keep going. Don't stop. Out with her. That's it, keep going. My knees. Punch in. Five seconds left. Three, two, and that's, woo, that was hard. My butt's falling off. Right. Okay. So what have we got next? So yeah. Okay, plank. Plank, we're going in 12 seconds, okay? Ready? So as I say, just keep a nice straight back, elbows on the floor, and on your toes. Let's go. Keep it nice and straight. Nice deep breaths, suck in that belly button. 20 seconds, it's getting tough now, so if, like I say, if you want to do another round, do it, okay, we'll just take it easy. 10 seconds, suck in your belly button if it's getting hard, stay relaxed as you can, don't tense up, or if it's hurting your back, just drop down, okay, a little bit, and relax. All right, so that's a plank. All right, squat pulls. Okay, so I'm gonna go down with stay down, all right, on our knees, okay? So as I say, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna squat down, and then pulls down. Hands in front, hands on your head, whichever you want to do. Keeping your chest up, right, okay? Ready, go. So stay down, okay, guys? Don't keep coming up. And it's a gentle bounce, not big movement. Just a gentle pulse. Three. That's it. Just concentrate on something else if you want to. Don't think about actually what's going on with your legs. Keep them all burning. Bring them in. 10 seconds, so don't get up guys. Just hold it there, you've held it for this long. Five seconds. Three. Two. And relax. That's a burner. All right, back to the pelvic floor, okay? Or the bridge, whichever you want to call it. Most guys probably want to call it the bridge. Girls, pelvic floor. All right, so as I say, line your back. All you're gonna do is raise up, squeeze your bum cheeks in, and back down, all right? So we're going in five seconds. Ready, three, two, let's go, up. Squeeze, up, squeeze. So the best part of this is to do it slow. Taking it, squeezing it, okay? 
release, squeeze, release, squeeze. So make sure, so this is helping your back and your core, okay? I know I've had lower back issues previous, the knees have helped. Squeeze, engaging that back, keep it nice and strong, okay? Five seconds, two, and relax, okay? So that's easy, we're nearly there guys, got two more exercises to go. Circle arms, so remember, small circles, so if you're just watching, these are big movements, these are the size of tennis balls, all right? And then we're gonna go backwards halfway through. We're gonna have five seconds, all right? Ready guys, nearly there, penultimate one. Ready, let's go, ready? So small circles, so make sure your arms are extended. Keep your belly tucked in. So just breathe in, nice and gently, okay? Nice and gently. So every exercise you do, try and hold your core in and change, go backwards. So breathe it in to help with your posture. Okay, keep going. Let's get hold it there, so heels out towards the walls. And relax. So that was nice and easy. All right, so then the curtsy. Okay, so when you're taking your leg back, yeah? As I say, the better you are, the more you can take that knee back. All right, so it's like a curtsy. All right, we're going to go in five seconds, guys. Last exercise, and then you're free of Miss Brown. Right, ready, let's go. Come on, last exercise, one. Just keep moving, all right, just keep moving. Just cross them legs, cross them. Keep going. Just keep your hands up for balance, so it's keeping your chest up. So you'll feel this on the outside of your thighs, getting stronger and stronger. Keep going and relax. And that's it guys, we're done. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure plenty of water. Make sure you're washing your hands, okay? Be mindful of everyone else around you and stay safe. Thanks guys. Well done, see you later.